I'm Dan Harris with the Puck Daddy, Greg Wyshynski, here to serve yet another two-minute minor. Greg, what brings you back to the sin bin? Well, Dan, as you know, I did a hockey panel at South by Southwest. I waited two hours for La Barbecue, amazing barbecue in Austin, Texas. Uh, I ate all of it, and now it feels like I have a meat brick in my stomach. Oh, man. Well, let's jump into the two-minute minor. Hopefully, you work that out as we go along here. It's fact or fiction this week. And in honor of the NCAA tournament, we'll start with NHL's playoff brackets. Greg, fact or fiction, the East is the scariest in the NHL. I think that's a fact, personally. Like, if I'm in the Western Conference, I'm worried about the Blackhawks and I'm worried about the Kings. If I'm in the East, I think there is no easy first-round matchup at all in the Eastern Conference. Anybody who makes it is in for a war in the first round. All right, fact or fiction, the Ottawa Senators and the Hamburglar will bust <laughs> the East bracket by eliminating Boston. As much as I want Andrew Hammond, the Hamburglar, the man who got free McDonald's for life recently in Ottawa, to make the playoffs, I think the Boston Bruins have this ship turned around. They're going to be okay. They're going to make the playoffs. All right, another team that's turned things around, Calgary. Fact or fiction, they will continue to be NHL Cinderella into the postseason. I'm going to go fact on that one. I think I love what I see out of Calgary. I think they're going to make the cut. If I Dollars to donuts, I'd say uh, uh, Calgary gets in. Winnipeg does not, of course. There was, those would be Tim Horton donuts since we're talking about Canadian teams. All right, talking about the actual NCAA tournament, fact or fiction, Kentucky will be the NCAA champ. <laughs> I'm going to go fact. Um, if I pick them in the first round of my survivor pool, is that doing it wrong? <laughs> it's not doing it wrong. It's a pretty safe bet. A, okay, lot of, yeah. <laughs> a lot of drama at tourney time, so let's talk some drama. Fact or fiction, the series finale of Glee will make you cry, Greg. <laughs> no, Glee hasn't been good since the Oilers were good, so that is fiction, sir. <laughs> All right, more drama around the NHL. The friction between Joe Thornton and Doug Wilson is over. Fact or fiction? Oh, that is total fiction. They can't stand each other. Thornton feels insulted. Wilson comes out and says he's not going to trade him this summer. Oh, congratulations. You're not going to trade the guy with the no-move clause who will determine determine whether or not he's traded. All right, speaking of GMs, meetings this week in Florida. Fact or fiction, the NHL will adopt the AHL three-on-three -three overtime. I'm going to go fact on this with a caveat that I'm not positive it's going to be the same system, but we're going to see three-on-three -three next year for sure. All right, what about the coaches' challenges they discussed? I'm going to go fact on that. We're going to see a coach's challenge, but I'm going to go fiction next season. I still think they might want one more year to tweak the idea. They're a little, little hesitant about it. All right, finally, we're at the buzzer. Fact or fiction, the Buffalo Sabres are doing it wrong. <laughs> that's, that's fiction. They're going to finish last. It's predestiny. Management has gamed the system to make sure that they are going to lose, 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 and Connor McDavid will be theirs. All right, well, that'll be the number one pick next season. Greg, thanks for serving the two-minute minor here on Yahoo Sports. Download the Yahoo app to your phone or tablet. 